All right. So for the next project here, we're going to do a drawn portrait, but we're going to do it in the style of Vincent Van Gogh. Now here I have I, you know, typed into Google create a Van Gogh portrait Photoshop tutorial. And I came up with a couple of resources. These links are included in the Google Classroom right here and here. <clears throat> to get started though, you're going to need two things. One, you're going to need a picture of some sort of landscape for the background. And then secondly, you're going to need a picture of a person. So inside of Photoshop, um, I have this picture. Now, I cut out the picture so it used to have this background on it. But I cut it out from the background and just kind of moved it around. And here's my background landscape picture. And um, the background picture is pretty easy. You're going to turn it into uh, a Van Gogh-like painting. Just follow the steps on the tutorial for that. This picture, though, in the foreground, this is going to be a little bit trickier. Okay, We're going to start by outlining the picture. Okay, Just like this. Now on the brushes, I click and I go up to the top here. I'm going to use this brush right here. It's, if I zoom in, and I just click once, it makes this kind of weird line that's kind of fuzzy on the ends. And I trace the whole picture with that. That's step one, creating an outline layer. Now I'm going to make a new layer for each each other thing that I do. Okay, I'm going to have a base color layer, and I'm going to use multiple different base colors. Okay, I use blue for, in this case, and there's slightly different versions of blue. Then I'm going to create a highlight layer, and I used yellow for this one. You can use any other any kind of color, but it has to be a lighter color. Um, for the highlights. And then I'll do the same thing for a shadows layer and a hair layer. And then my outline layer. Now I haven't done the shadows and the hair yet, um, but when I'm painting, I'm using these brushes in Photoshop. They're right at the top here. And they look like actual brushes. Now if I just use them straight out of the gate like this, um, I'm not going to have the kind of pictures I want. So here I'm just going to try and use this regular brush. To sample these colors, like on the shadows, I'm going to hold Alt on the keyboard. And you see my cursor turns to an eyedropper. And I'm going to click on my shadows layer and start adding some shadows in. wherever I see shadows on the picture. And it's okay if, I can, if I'm a little sloppy. I can go back and, and fix it too. I push the left and right square brackets to make my brush bigger and smaller in here. Actually this doesn't work too, too bad. But I can also go in here and adjust the size. This is, these are the brush options. I can find those by going to Window and Brush here. Now the brush options allow me to change my brush, put more or fewer bristles, increase the length of those bristles or shorten them, can make them thicker or thinner, can make them stiffer or softer. And I can change the angle of the brush too, and I can change the spacing of the brush. What I want to do is go in here and paint everywhere where I see some shadows and just kind of paint around and just use this brush texture as I see fit. And again, I'm pushing the, the brackets, the bracket button to make the brush larger and smaller. And if I want to sample a new color, I hold Alt on the keyboard, and I'm going to click in one of these colored circles that I made 
earlier. This allows me to quickly try out different colors without having to go to this box over here. It allows me to use the same colors each time, which I like. Again, making the brush bigger and smaller using the brackets. And it may kind of look weird right now, just this kind of scratchy scratchy brush work. But when I put all the layers together, it really looks pretty nice. I'm going to pause the video here, do a little bit more work, and then I'll show you kind of the final result with everything put together. Now as you can see, I have all of my layers. I have a base color layer, a highlights layer, and a shadows layer. Um, I haven't finished the hair layer, and I have my outline layer. And as you can see, I have a very you know, close and very similar look to a Van Gogh painting. So you're going to use this technique um, that you see in the speed drawing. This is the same technique that he goes through, doing base color, highlights, and shadows for a picture. And then you're going to do the same technique, uh, a, a different technique to create a Van Gogh-like background using the liquify tool and um, the oil painting effect. Okay, and you'll end up with something that looks, you know, super cool and like you painted it by hand.